microphone. Yeah, so for guys who don't know me, I'm Lissy with Harry, and I come into the this beautiful company and Clayton and Christina through Synchronicities and Divinity and through Sandy. Um, I tried them the route about three or four months ago. The clean slate, I was given a free bottle and it blew my mind from drop one. Very powerful stuff. And I knew it was the truth and I got obsessed with it and I tried to zero in after. And now to restore and I think it's fucking epic the, what you guys have created. I don't think it's an accident. And I want to touch base with a lot of cool things with you, Clayton, today because it's come up again. A lot of criticism because there's um, m and companies, but beyond that, like there's people making accusations about you stealing money, being sued, going to prison. And you're so open that we want to get this information out there. Exactly what's gone on, like with all these people trying to slander you and your company. So could you give us a bit of backstory of where you come from to develop Root itself? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can see what always sits above me with the integrity, authenticity, simplicity and in, in the educational components. Because uh, it's the four principles, the things we're built upon now, and I can I can say it's been an interesting journey. Um, yeah, so just the the brief formation story, right? And I think most people, if they're watching this, there's going to be some things I can't drop names for. You can, but I can't because of ongoing issues, le legal legal battles that are in place. But we'll hit on some of those. Um, but you know, my, my history, I grew up in a veterinary practice. I was, I was fortunate from about the age of two uh, to, to really be around animal and human, human medicine, you know, my, my entire life, but the importance of, of supplementation, minerals, diet, lifestyle was so crucial because if, if you don't do those things in animals, either their life is not going to be very good, or if you're looking at livestock, um, you're not going to eat poisoned animals. Right? And, you know, different mineral deficiencies can cause, you know, health issues that lead to animals not being as healthy, which means they don't taste as good or um, they're not as functional for, for milking and such. Uh, so that was, you know, an opportunity to learn a massive amount really early, be engaged in that. I was banned from being a doctor when I was 12, mm. uh, but going through, going through college, studying a, a myriad of different areas. They gave me a degree in business, uh, in humanities with a focus in business communications and kinesiology um, because I studied so many, so many different subjects. And it, it was funny because when I got out of college, I'm like, well, what am I going to do with a degree in humanities? Because I was banned from being a doctor. It's like, well, yeah. you know, now I look back and it's like, oh, the only thing you can do is be a humanitarian because you have a degree in humanities. So, um, but through, through the journey about 16 years ago, I was introduced to the first, uh, the first zeolite product that came out as a, as a liquid suspension that, and that was, that was the first time where you get that tap on your shoulder and God goes, that's your path, follow it. And what was, what was unique is the, is the inventor of that process, uh, was an individual by the name of Harv Kaufman and Harv and I still we still communicate. I was chatting with him on text a couple of weeks ago just to see how he's doing because he's I think he's in his 80s now. Mm. Um, but Harv had an interesting background because of working in the petroleum. Uh, the company that he was working for was working in the petroleum industry, which is where clinoptilolite is actually used a lot. And he had been looking at some of the research that was published over in Europe about clinoptilolite being um, used in cancer to where they were taking a micronized powder of clinoptilolite in a suspension, so basically putting it in water and they were injecting it into, into tumors that they had grown. Like I think it was liver liver, liver tumors or kidney, kidney tumors that they were growing in dogs and rats and they were injecting them into the tumor sites. And what the study showed is that the, the solution when injected directly in was causing an upregulation of tumor suppressor genes, it actually activated P21 and P27, uh, which are two of the three primary tumor suppressor genes that we naturally have that when a cell becomes abnormal, it turns on. So he had done, he had done some work and created a, a very simple process of mixing, mixing clinoptilolite with some acid and some heat and did a patent on it, which he had issued uh, which is patent number 6288045. It's amazing how the memory works. <laughs> you can uh, you can look that up. I mean, there was arguments over the patent because some people tried to stole the formula and such from him. 
Um, yeah. But his original patent was an epithelial cell cancer drug because he was trying to create something as, as a pharmaceutical uh, to, to cure cancer because of, because of the proven mechanisms of clinoptilolite. Um, but what had happened is the company that he was consulting with, LifeLink, um, sold the rights to it or mer I'm not sure, the licensing to a company called Life Health Science that was in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, it was owned by Burt Moyer and um, Kent Adams, who uh, was the CEO. Kent's a really, really good guy. He spent a lot of time around um, environmental businesses and he's actually getting ready to retire here. I was chatting with him recently too, which is going to be fun for the legal stuff because of some of the stuff I can talk about, but he's already documented. And Weora, which was the first, the first MLM company to launch this product, had licensed the product from Life Health Science and Eddie Stone and Stan Charlestein and Rick Deitch uh, were the three principals. Well, Rick was the biochemist um, that had the license to, to the process from Life Health Science. Eddie Stone and Stan Charlestein were the owners of um, Weora. And Eddie Stone is, yeah. as we get into this journey, you'll see, yeah. is the founder of Pure Body. I was going to say, I recognize the name from somewhere. Yes. Touchstone. Mm. So you you can see this interesting web of chaos. It seems like a small group of people at the beginning, which you was involved with too. Um, it, it was. I was I was fortunate because Dave Jordan, who's a who's a close buddy of mine, um, called me because back in the day, 16 years ago, we didn't have social media. This this wasn't possible, and everything was done from picking up the phone and calling somebody and saying, "Hey, you know what? It's nice to meet you." And we mm. it was network marketing, so it was. It was a matter of just creating relationships. And if you can find a product that had value and you can distribute it, you can make money from it. That's that's a trade. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, the concepts of root really came from is if you have good products, people are going to use them. If they like them, they can share them, but not doing it in a dirty manner, just bringing the purity back to it. Mm -hmm. um, but Dave called me and said, hey, you got to look at this. You got to look at this product. This company's launching it. I don't have much of an education. You'll understand this. And you talk about body now, are you? No, this is this is with Wayora and Natural Cellular. Wayora. Okay. First, yeah. first came out. And it was it was that tap. Just just the concept was something that, that hit me. And it changed changed my entire perspective. Um, because my my upbringing, right? All through college, high school from really from the time I was four years old, but I really started studying mineral supplementation and such when I was eight, the, my entire life cycle of knowledge flipped. And mm -hmm. it went from, you know, kind of like you've talked about where you had all the free therapies and you're like, okay, urine therapy is phenomenal. Here's what the research shows. Yeah. This, is, this stuff's amazing. But then you, you learn and you go, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's different, maybe there's, maybe there's alternatives, but for me, and it wasn't just, Hey, here's a product or here's a service. My entire philosophy flipped because what I learned and what I've been able to really prove. And we've done some cool stuff with over the last 16 years is that wellness and performance has nothing to do with addition. It has everything to do with subtraction. And that's where my formula, you know, my simple mathematical formula that we talk about addition by subtraction uh, really, really comes from because I started to dive into the data and I looked at what the World Health Organization published in 1974. You know, that at the time they knew that about 85% of all chronic degenerative diseases were caused by environmental toxins. And you know, I really started to dive into looking at etiology and cause. And, and then I, when I was introduced to, and this, this all happened simultaneously. So then I started to dive into clinoptilolite and understand, okay, great. Because there's so much hype and bullshit in multi-level marketing and just in, in the nutrition and wellness industry in general, that not, not just for all the pitchy bullshit from the MLM industry with people playing Ponzi schemes and selling stuff just to get paid and spinning, spinning language in order to sell things, but also for the gurus and just the, the supplement industry, we've been, 
we've been sold on a belief system that I believe is completely false. We don't need a lot of supplements. We don't need a lot of, lot of pills, potions, lotions. What we need is to first remove what's causing the problems because people, people in our community, the wellness community are against the allopathic. You know, they're typically averse to allopathic medicine, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, pharma, pharma is bad. Biotech is bad. Well, I grew up in a veterinary practice, so I can tell you that pharma, there is a benefit to some aspects. There, it's not all bad, right? There's, mm -hmm. there's gray and then there's black and there's white. There's a lot of gray. There's a lot of good in the gray and there's black. We don't, we don't want the black, mm -hmm. uh, but the difference was for me looking at it, you have all of these people on the wellness side that are saying, well, don't use drugs to, to treat these issues, use supplements. Well, you're still doing the same thing. You, you might say, oh, well, inflammation is the cause of disease. So don't use anti-inflammatories, use these natural products because they're, they're natural anti-inflammatories. Mm. The way I looked at things was, well, why not remove the cause of inflammation? That why not get to the root of the problem? Get the to root the issue. cause, get a, something in a name. That's where it came from, yeah. So the, the product that we had that Harv Kaufman created that Life Health Science was, was manufacturing um, started out amazing. We got some great results. My dad had malignant melanoma. Yeah. And he was a veterinarian. And, you know, I had the conversation. My dad was one of the first people that, that I really worked with. Um, because if you're if your parents have really bad cancer, you you typically don't want them to have cancer. Right. I mean, it's kind of human nature. It's like, okay, that's going to kill you. So let's see if we can make it not kill you. So I had the conversation with my dad, you know, to say, hey, you know, like any son would do. And I'm the oldest. My my brother's in the middle and my sister's the youngest one. And, you know, I had the had the conversation with my dad. I'm like, hey, I found this found this product. I think it's amazing. I got all this clinical research, you know, on this amazing mineral, this crystal. I want you to read it. He's like, no, you're my son. You're an idiot. I told you not to become a doctor. I'm like, OK, I'm not arguing with those. <laughs> but. And it was the is the the only time I had the I had this conversation with my dad, and I told him I said, "Look, you know what? You're my dad. I love you. I don't want you to die. So you might not want to do this. You might not want to try it because whatever. But do it for me. Mm. Humor me. I'll give you the literature. You can look at the literature. You know, all the research has been done on animals. He's a veterinarian, kind of easy. And he's like, okay, fine. Well." through just oral and topical use. I think it took about 60 days and all of his the seven tumor sites that he had that he was having cut off and they would grow back were gone and fresh skin wow. had grown underneath. And yeah, he called me and he's like, I, I got something to tell you. I'm like, oh shit, here we go. Yeah. And he's like, well, I gotta tell you, you saved your paw. Wow. Yeah. And I was like, you, you pause for a moment <laughs> and you go, Am I still in the will? Yep. <laughs> so we're good. All right. And you know, and my my dad, my dad and my mom have followed followed what I've worked with for the last 16 years. My dad's never had a recurrence. Mm. There you go. There's some some semblance of success with that. But what happened, and it happens so many times in in the MLM industry and and in the in the supplement industry, is people get greedy. And the comp we had this amazing product for about 18 months. Yeah. It was doing amazing things for people. And Which one was it? I think I forgot. This cellular defense with Wayora. Oh, yeah. yeah. The company got greedy and they wanted to change the change the process. Yeah. So, and, and not pay their provider. Mm. So not pay the licensing agreement. See if they could do it on their own so they could save money. But they changed the entire formula. And the product stopped working. It changed color. It went from a, a milky white substance um, to brown. Wow. And yeah. my mom, I remember my mom calling me going, hey, uh, there's a problem. 
because we've got animals that have had kidney failure, liver failure, cancer, that using the product had gone away. And we open the bottle because it's a different color and it's, we've been looking at the drops, it's different color and it's not working. And we have animals that have had these organ failure issues and cancer and it's coming back. Hmm. And that, that's something that I'm rather passionate about, right? Because if that's happening in animals, it's happening in people. Hmm. And we saw some of those things and I got kind of vocal in the, in the company did some things that the MLM industry is really good at doing. If you get, if you speak up about something, they will try to shut you up, you know, and take your income because wow. they control yeah. it and hmm. they, you know, they'll make up, you know, oh, you cross recruited people. So we're taking your income. But I was 27 years old, making $45,000 a month. Mm, well, and yeah. this was, this was back in the day when $45,000 a month was worth something. Now, I mean, did you know when you were speaking up against them, they would try and take your income and do that harm? Was you not, was you a bit I naive? Figured, I was, I was hoping, I was hoping that they'd have a voice because I was one of the top 10 income earners in the company. I was the youngest diamond in the company. So I was highest rank um, and the youngest of the group. And, you know, people, people value this more than that. And, you know, so it, it led to some interesting, interesting changes. And that's where the journey began. Cause I, I got a hold of the manufacturer cause I had talked with Harv a few times and started consulting with life health science and tried to find a home for that, that product, because that was the real deal. And it's a, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of dirt and chaos in the MLM industry. And, uh, there was, there was a company that I helped start in 2004, I think it was 2014. No, it was a little, might've been a little, yeah, I think it was 2014, a little mm -hmm. bit before, earlier in 2014 called Cosiva. Right. Just TRS. Is that correct? So the original clear TRS. Yeah. Was. Mm -hmm. It's called Casiva. Me. Oh, it was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I helped create that company. I wasn't an owner. I was the supplier. Yeah. Uh, but the owners had issues with that. So mm -hmm. it we I pulled the product from them, and I thought they had gone bankrupt uh, and gone out of business. But then a few years later, as people know now, they started selling a synthetic uh, clean up to the light or not actually, let me, let me rephrase that mm. a synthetic aluminosilicate. You can't make synthetic clean up to the light. You clean up to the light is a natural occurring mineral. Anybody says that you have synthetic clean up to the light is lying. You can have a synthetic aluminosilicate. Mm. You can't make synthetic clean up to the light. Mm. And, you know, so through, through some relate through, you know, trying to create different business relationships uh, and working with life health science, um, they, you know, I'd done a few different projects trying to put, uh, put products in place. And then in 2015, what was it? 2000, the end of, towards the end of 2014, I got a yeah. phone call from, um, colleagues that were needing a product for a company that they were working with, which, which was another MLM company that was on the rise. Uh, mm. called Jeunesse Global. And they, they became the fastest company in history to a billion dollars in revenue uh, wow. annually. They did it, in, so I think they did it in six or six or seven years. Are they, and, they were Z-like company, are they not? Just a general that, health company. Was, was they a Z-like company? No. Yeah, so no, they are, they're, uh, they're an MLM company that's focused on, on wellness and anti-aging. They've got some amazing products. The owners, the owners mm. are amazing. Wendy and Randy, I absolutely love them. Cool. And, there, George and Donna Antar had reached out to me because um, Donna is their chief medical officer. She's amazing, and George is one of their one of their top income earners. But he had Lyme disease, mm -hmm. um, and they were in charge of finding an alternative to a detox product that they had had that they had a bid um, a bad business fallout on, where their vendor stole twenty million dollars from them. Bummer. And they reached out to me and said, hey, look, you know, we won't work with this Apple pectin product anymore because we had a bad experience. So we've been doing our research. We found that clinoptilolite is probably the best thing out there. And we were told you're the guy to talk to because we they got a referral from a colleague that owns one of the primary um, websites for selling different zeolite products. Nice. And so we did the dog and pony show, had a had a conversation. I went down and met with them in person 
and signed an LOI. And then I went back to Life Health Science and, and chatted with the owners and said, look, here's, here's the outline. Here's what they want. This is a company that's doing $40 million a month in business. They were ordering $20 million a quarter of this detox product. They lost the product because of getting screwed over. Yeah. We're going to replace it with what can be done here and kind of right. a big deal, right? Yeah. A really big deal. And the company went from $40 million to $100 million a month in revenue over the next, um, I think it was over the next 12 months or so from the time that I oh. first met with them. I, and not to interrupt your flow, but at what point is this, Christina's still not involved in the story? You, you well, and not I, yet. Not yet, company. okay. Yeah. So in 2014, in, in the meetings there, some things went awry um, because of business philosophies. And I knew that I needed to do something to protect my client because my my client is most important. You know, the, the manufacturing process um, is, is very, very, very important. Um, but what Life Health Science was doing uh, was very rudimentary. Mm. And, and I mean, like a fifth grader in in the, your kitchen could, could do this um and really what the what the process was and they didn't they didn't have uh gmp manufacturing and that was part of uh part of wayora's attempt to backdoor them as well as they they didn't have a mass production basis and they were using a pot like a five gallon pot and putting clenoptilolite -like powder in it putting some, some acid, heating it up on a hot plate, stirring it for like right. 10, 15 minutes. Letting so it using settle. the good stuff in a very basic way and not using the, the kind of genius that you and Christina have come up with. That, and, that, and, really that's the, and that's the difference in, in science and biotech. So what had happened is um, the lab director at Life Health Science came to me and said, hey, I'm the creator of this. He lied to me. I'm the creator of this. I know how to do it. I, I just, and I've been treated so poorly at Life Health Science. I can, uh, I know how to do this. I can do it. I just need a lab and I need the ability to produce it. So in September of 2014, right. you can see yep. there, yeah. I created, I created Metron Nutraceuticals and I grew up in the state of Washington. You can see that's the seal for the state. Yeah. Metron Nutraceuticals. They come up a lot when people yeah. Google your name in a bad way. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it comes up. So I created Metron and called called a colleague of mine um, that was a major investor i didn't know this i just knew that he had a 14 year old autistic son that we were able to start functioning normally in a short period of time so he was um he was very passionate about what what i'd been working on because his son was 14 years old and nonverbal, and you know after a couple I think it was a couple of weeks or a month of using the product that had been produced for them. Mm -hmm. They, he started talking and communicating and was more outgoing. And yeah, you know, as a, as a man and as a dad with a kid that was nonverbal for 12 years and that you couldn't do anything with to have something mm -hmm. that works, you get kind of passionate about it. And I went back to him and said, Hey, cause he told me when we first met, if you need money, just let me know. And I went back to him and said, Hey, I got this project. This is, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. And, so he was like, yeah, we can, we can do that. So he got, gave me the funding for, to create Metron. And then that allowed me to go secure the initial contract. So I did a partnership with the, the other party that remains nameless in my life right now. You can look, you know, you, you have people throw <laughs> questions all the time. Yeah. Um, so I went back and we did a did the contract with Jeunesse and they ordered 150,000 bottles on their first order. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, that's that's a lot. I will, I will yeah. tell you, Root Root doesn't order that many bottles right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, so you look at that from a business person, you go, okay, I just started a brand new company, and yeah. my first client, my first order is 150,000 bottles. Wow. And they, they wired $675,000 as the down payment to get the production started, you know, with our new lab that we created for this process, which was 
is in Ohio and it has, instead of one pot, like Life Health Science had, there's six, six five gallon little pots you fill up and you you stir with a little acid and a little clinoptilolite powder. And were you going to do it at this point in your mind the same way as you did with the other product before it went bad that you worked with when it was the white substance? Similar to that, it was exactly the same or? Yeah. It was, yeah. Well, the same, and basically it was the same process that Life Health Science was doing. It was just stolen from them and I didn't know it. Right, yeah. And yeah, so, and that's where the problem started to, to come in. So we did this, um, did the transaction and instead of producing the product, because I was in charge of all the sales and the marketing, the business development, talking, because I've done this for a long time. Even, even at that point, I was fairly knowledgeable on the subject. Mm-hmm. And my cohort stole the $675,000 and didn't produce the product. Come again, your um, partner in the company that you started stole all the money for the bottles, the first bigger shipment you've ever seen. Stole it. Yeah. Yeah, and did, and refused to produce the product for them, and then he sued them, so yeah. he can keep the money, and and then he sued me, and made a made a bunch of claims about me to get me out of the company because I started the original Metron in in Washington, which is where I was, and then created a second one in Ohio, which is where the manufacturing facility was, and that's where the money went, yeah. and I got to see none of the money, and then I got sued, so the other party could keep all the money. <laughs> and this is where kind of the chaos ensued. So I had to I had to go through a crazy process of trying to get out of a bad business deal in in a litigious environment that mm. I didn't live in. I don't live in Ohio. Mm. You know, I had uh, as this was going on, actually, I was trying to just figure out why someone would steal 675,000 right and from- he was uh, must have been i mean you said psychopathic he was you must be fucked up and he had to to even contemplate stealing from people and to that degree not caring about people having no heart because we do we get in this business to help people um you get in the, you didn't you help people you don't want to you don't do it for the money if you do it for the money that says a lot about them it really does and i i was i was awestruck because their their director of procurement who I knew told me that they already had a purchase order for the second order that they were going to give to us as soon as production started of the first order. Wow, on top of the six hundred fifty thousand, there was more coming, uh, more orders. Due. The hundred, the hundred and fifty thousand bottle true. order yeah. was to yeah. start. The second order was a million bottles. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm sitting here going, Shit. Um, fuck. Yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a smart guy. Yeah. But my little startup company has gone from 150,000 bottle order. Yeah. And then the next one is going to be a million, and I know the next one's going to be larger than that because yeah. the company was growing and we were replacing a product that was doing 20 million dollars a quarter in their wholesale orders. Whoa. That's a good business. You can do okay on that. Yeah. And Still to this day, it is, I mean, there are very few things that I actually like energetically hold on to that really piss me off. Yeah. It is, it is one of the most painful, painful aspects of my life because I'm sitting there going, I I just, I don't comprehend how and why. Right. And so from there, I had a, six months six seven months of trying six months seven months of trying to figure out how to navigate getting out of this process or rectify this process went to another company to try to get the product produced for them Mm. they got screwed over in the same in the same manner i'm like oh my jesus don't understand and right about that time, that was beginning the end of 2015. No, it was right into 2000, yeah, 2015. And then I was in, I created a retail product through through my company because I, I was like, okay, I, I've got to make this work. Created a retail product uh, called Cyto Detox, which right, is, which I've heard of. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I was I was out in California, uh, training their primary West Coast sales rep. Aaron, Aaron's amazing. And, um, 
she introduced me to John Sally. And John, right. you know, played in the NBA for a long time. He was the first and only individual prior to Tim Duncan doing it to win NBA three NBA championships in three different decades. Oh, right. cool. Um, so, and then Tim Duncan did it, but I met John, spent a day with him and then went to, um, went back home. He ended up like shortly after meeting me, went to, went to New York for an NBA and NFL players association conference on pharmacogenetics mm. and had, uh, had the opportune meeting to, actually sit at dinner with one of the keynote speakers, Christina. So uh -huh. yeah. Dr. Christina Rom Cook was the speaker because she had research registries looking at pharmacogenetics uh, to track the efficacy. And pharmacogenetics is, is, is a genetic test to look at drug metabolism. It, it is really, really valuable and it's surprising that it didn't catch on as well as it could because it was prostituted um, by sales reps and then payers were like, we're not going to play the game as much, um, but it gives gives an individual a genetic test so you can see what drugs you can properly metabolize because of these different chemicals. There might be three or four different a pain medication. Uh, if you get the wrong one that your body metabolizes improperly, it can kill you or it can cause a lot of side effects. But if you have the right one, it can be beneficial. But you need, you kind of need to know these things. You need to know which one is a green light, which one is a red light. Mm -hmm. So they met at dinner and John told her that you got to meet these guys that want to build labs with you. They're not really good guys, but you're Michael mm -hmm. Jordan. And yes. I played with him. Mm -hmm. You're Michael Jordan. You just need the right team around you and you got to meet this guy that I met in California because I got a feeling you guys could change healthcare together. Mm. So John's my, John's my wingman. He's the greatest wingman in history. So yeah, couple, he, he couple set you up for life with a, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> he, he saved a lot of lives by doing it already. And yeah. he, uh, yeah. he put us together a week later and then we got to chat and then, mm. you know, we. Was it love at first sight quickly? For you? I, I didn't need to see this. I heard her voice and I was done. All oh, right, cool. So Love and first voice then, we'll change it. <laughs> and it it's, the, it's the beautiful part of resonance, right? And when, like you've made a couple comments about, you know, soulmates, when you find your soulmate, it's, there's, there's no, I get chills, this is my favorite subject, but, and I, I pray, I, I really do, I, I, I pray for my kids about this and even a lot of my friends, same thing for you. Mm -hmm. um, that you can find the level of love that I have for her uh, because it's it's transcendental, right? It's it's not like oh I love you. I'm like no, I live for you because I'm made for her. And it was it's been interesting because we love to go to different spiritual guides and and such and different. Uh, different people that have experience with different areas. And they've told us, we, we've done this like three times before in the past. And so this was not new. Hold on, I gotta send a text message because I'm gonna be a little bit, yeah, little sure. bit behind. Yeah. And so when we when we met in, in person, because it took about uh, it took about a week or two, because when we first talked on the phone, I was I was done at hello, and yeah. in 15 minutes on the phone, I told her I loved her because after about a five minute conversation, she yeah. was talking about cloning and molecular design stuff and the things that she'd done in biotech, and I was like, you gave me an intellectual orgasm. This is the only, <laughs> the only way I can explain this. I've never used that term yeah. in my life. But there's a, what's that word they play in for the words when you attack someone sexually, not sexually, but for the mind, there's a word that I can't remember, yeah. something like that, but I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I, yeah. I was just like, this is blowing your mind. After, <laughs> after 15 minutes of talking, I just told her, I said, look, you know what? I've said this to three people in my life, my, my mom, my sister, my ex-wife, I love you. Don't take it the wrong way, but I love you. Yeah. And I, I never looked her up on social media, never didn't need to. 
Yeah. And then when we when we got to FaceTime the first time, I was with a couple of my buddies because we were in Mexico working with some of the cancer clinics in Tijuana. Mm. And we got to FaceTime. This was a couple of days after we talked on the phone and we we're all like, oh, my God, she's gorgeous. And she's a genius. And she has a Southern accent. My buddies are a lot better looking than I am. I'm like, wait a minute. She doesn't know what I look like either. And this isn't going to go well. Because <laughs> now, now I got I to gotta fight for my right. And so we we got to meet and she told me, she's like, look, if we're going to work together and if we have any chance of relationship, it's going to take five years. Um, but if you want to work with me, you have to move to Nashville. So I went home. I packed up my clothes, my golf clubs and my Jameson and moved from Seattle to Nashville. Wow. And through through that yeah. journey, I mean, I've been I've been sued so many times, um, but you know, dealt with this process that mm. is still ongoing because of you know, like the the personality types you were talking about. Um, but when Christina and I got together, because of her biotech background, and mm. she had come she had come with me once to Ohio, and because I was going to have her help with perfecting and enhancing the process because the process that is used in Ohio is so rudimentary. It was yeah. the same process used by Life Health Science. The patent applications that that company that the company owns were actually provided to, to the individual by the CEO, Kent Adams, of Life Health Science. Wow. And they were taken <laughs> and claimed to be their own. And I'm like, yeah. I can't yeah. make this happen. But she, she, she saw what was being done. She's like, that's not even a scientific process. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just mixing stuff in a pot. Um, but because of how her mind works, she's like, well, this is what I would do. I would, and she created a process of cryogenic fracking, thermal shocks and phosphates, the, the polarization process, and then the addition of trace minerals and high levels of ascorbic acid to make this amazing superstructure and yeah which is just phrases but i mean if people could I, I often say this on my lives i mean it's way beyond my head or anyone's head unless you spend 20 years or 30 years or a lifetime like her studying um getting degrees in these kind of things you know it's way beyond most people's heads to to even imagine this so it's it's really phenomenal um that's why i get irritated a bit when people think that they can imitate the the, the zeolite that you've made I, I get a little bit triggered myself i'm like you can't yeah. even go there and so we'll we'll go we'll go real quick through the through the rest of the part here because of yeah. I've, yeah. I've got I'm late for another call. So sure, yeah. That journey that journey has been amazing and chaotic. And through through that process, we created we created root because of what Christina's created. But through that same process, you know, there's been Coceva that created TRS mm -hmm. uh, using a synthetic aluminosilicate. Eddie Stone created Pure Body. Um, after leaving Wayora, after they changed the formula and basically killed the entire business model, they ran that thing for seven years after after I left, mm -hmm. selling the concept of what the product originally was, mm -hmm. without it being the same thing, which was a little bit of an issue for me because you know, mm -hmm. in integrity. Um, and, it, and what's interesting is like we've been talking about, and you get so many people to ask you questions. And hopefully we can I can share this properly. They make a lot of claims about size. Yes, I love you to share that. Yes. This is important. Particle size is, you know, is everything it's smaller is better, which is not true. You no. but anal analytical chemistry is really important. And what what we're able to do is create a broad, broad range of fragment sizes, but also create a massive amount of bioavailable silica, you know, that orthosilicic acid. And that's the big thing we talk about. Uh, so we create these cages that are all oh, there's fragments of silica that are in the nano nano range but yeah. then you also have much larger fragment sizes that are you know from eight microns to over a hundred microns in size so they're much larger cages and they're going to do different things in the body they can some of them might stay in the gut some of them are going to get in the bloodstream in your circulatory system and go through organs and and do what they do um, mm -hmm. but what was funny and, it's, and it, this is the interesting part, and I'll, we'll look at this real quick, is you have yeah. companies, these two companies claim that, oh, we are nanoparticles. We're really, really small. Yeah. But when you had, in, and just a couple of days ago, I had an independent research scientist. She bought mm. the products from both companies, and she works in an independent analytical research laboratory. Mm. And she used a scanning electron microscope to analyze the products herself. Yeah. And she... We're connected on Facebook having a chat, and this is what uh, 
what she sent. This is the letter she sent me. And what, what I thought was hilarious initially, um, because I wrote a little bit of a review on both products. Can you see this? Yeah, I can. I think that everyone else should be able to. Can, yeah. If you yeah. Can. Yeah, yeah, so it says, you know, so initially I was disappointed when I saw that the size of Cosiva and Pure Body were larger than they claimed. However, you said it's better to have a variety. So yeah. That information. <laughs> Hold on. That's, yeah. You just you just prove that they're lying. Yep. That they've been lying the entire time. Yeah. But oh, okay. lying is actually a good thing because if I mean if they're truthful, it is a shit product. But the point is they're actually lying about the this, this particle size on the uh, back of their bottles. Because they're it's no bigger spin, than yeah, they're trying to spin a story, but the story's a lie. Yeah, and and. It, and you, that this proves that the particle size is bigger and then we know that yours are actually bigger too so yours effectively they're saying work because it's bigger and there's work because it's bigger too but they're well, lying there, whereas you guys are not lying about it because there are some there are fragments smaller than what they claim right mm -hmm. that's the reason that's the reason that those products have some effect clean slate is a completely different animal i mean it's these these were so like the you have the these formulas, these thought processes are kind of like a, uh, you know, a Honda Accord, a 1989 Honda Accord, right? The original clinoptilolite -like powder is is the original Model T, right? <laughs> this is like an 89 Honda Accord, and then yeah. Clean Slate's like a 2022 Tesla, you know, Tesla yeah. Model S Plaid, you I know, agree. the 360 yeah. in 1.8 seconds, and is driving a computer, uh, <laughs> but. These are these are the scanning electron microscope images of pure body, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see this fragment size range is 10, 10 microns. Inside. Is that what they claim? No bigger than ten? Is that what they claim? Well, I think they claim no bigger than no bigger than ten. But you can see this yeah. is this is under um, might be forty eight hundred times magnification, mm -hmm. right? So you can see five hundred nanometers is about that width on the bottom right there but you can see well, that fragment is 79 nanometers that one is 21 hmm. that one is 77 so you can look on here and you go okay if that's 21 nanometers which is a lot bigger than what they claim yeah. what's all the rest of them yeah it's like oh wait a minute that does not make sense that's that one's uh, over nearly eight times bigger than what they claim that's 77.7 and then, and then we looked at the other we look at the other one and this is you know for trs Right. This is advanced TS. This is advanced to what everyone talks advanced about. Advanced TRS. So this is this right. is what they claim is amazing right now. You know the product mm. that they sell, uh, and she and you can see this was done May fourteenth of two thousand twenty one. Last this, week. This is six days ago. Yep. Six days ago. It, it's not like oh this is what this was a while. This mm. was last week. So this was, you know, five microns in size so that's their maximum size yeah. they claim five yeah so oh they, claim, they claim to be what like five nanometers <laughs> yeah i'm um, just looking at the numbers there like yeah so the smallest the smallest one here is 15.4 <laughs> then you got 106 36 you go oh. okay the 106 one is 20 times 20 nearly 21 times bigger than what their biggest they claim they've actually yeah. got one bigger than that that's ridiculous and and you look at that and you go okay you know so who's telling the truth is it the the scanning electron microscope or is it the marketing hype because the thing that gets me is i look at all that information and i'm gotta remember i'm not a doctor you know i'm i have a degree in humanities mm. but i know i know what to look at when i'm looking at a microscope and looking at measurements and if someone says that they're using 300,000 times magnification, I know that's a lie. Because if you if you were if you were looking at something through 300,000 times magnification, you could look at the dots on the freaking sun. Right. I mean, it's crazy. But I mean, this just shows you Do they claim that that it's 3,000 times magnification on their product? Well, if you they look can... at Pure Body, if you look at the some of the images that Pure Body reports mm. they say it's 300,000 times magnification I'm like well you're, wow. you're right Jesus. yeah so that's that's really the gist of it so you go okay um the data shows that what you're claiming and what it is and this is done independently right this is not anything I purchased this was sent to me by an independent research scientist who bought these products 
She's yep. going to buy clean slate as well because she wants to do this independently. And she was asking some really good questions of me. Yeah. Uh, but you can, I mean, this is this is just part of the journey. That has blown my mind. And, and we have to reemphasize the point there that the, um, they are lying about the particle sizes on the back, which says a lot about the ethics and the values. And can you trust zeolite companies when they do this? Can you trust them? Like you I can't, mean, exactly. If it's an MLM, if it's an MLM company, you, you just got to know what the, what the motivation is, right? And, you know, what the what the backgrounds of the people are behind them. I mean, and this is why it's important. I mean, don't trust me. I mean, I've been through chaos. I mean, I've, I've got more lawsuits thrown at me because of what, what I've done or what I'm doing, what I know, and the other businesses or companies that we own and run in healthcare um, mm -hmm. because of people. I mean, I'm dealing with a lawsuit that guys stole $25 million from Christina. Whoa. Stole yeah. her business plans, built other companies while stealing money from her that have probably made a hundred million dollars that she's supposed to own 50% of. And she's just, yeah, um, it does, doesn't pay attention to her or she doesn't pay attention to it because her mind doesn't work that way. She doesn't understand that people can be really, really bad. And, um, she, she's a peacocorn. It's the only way I can explain her, right? She's a unicorn yeah. with peacock pegasus wings and she's, she's here to heal people. That's what she does. Yeah, so you look at a mom who had Lyme disease when she was 19 years old, lost her memory. She had a photographic memory prior. She won National History Day in middle school. She got to meet, I forgot what president it was she met. I think it was Reagan. She's met like three or four presidents. Um, and so it's, she went from losing her memory because of Lyme disease, coming out of it with an iodetic memory that she can speed read, and and then working in biotech, having a master's degree in a master's of science, a PhD, a PsyD, an EDD. Can you take him? Um, and you know, being the darling of bringing biotech science to the nutraceutical space. You've done well. By the way, I mean, I can never. I don't think anyone could ever feel the pain of um, knowing that you were going to do so much good work with the work with the things prior. Um, like you said, with 150,000, a million dollar orders. But I mean, all I can say is that I'm glad in a way it did happen to you. I'm sure everyone watching this is because that's now you've you. gone to with Christina to create something that's even more epic and more powerful. And now I really hope, because I know in my heart it's the best zeolite. I think it's one of the best supplements, actually. The, the, the clean slate, not even a zeolite. And, and I, I really want to see it grow, man. And I'm really happy for everything that's led to this moment in time for you guys and for us. So. And I, I'm with you. I mean, I've been on this journey for 15, 15, 16 years. And what, and I, I've had the opportunity to either distribute, research, create, manufacture, or consult with the majority of the products in the industry. Or actually, I've researched every one of them. And cleans what this is is not what everything else in the market is. It is, that's why there's no clinoptilolite. There's no zeolite on the label. I mean, it's in biotech. So you have to understand this from a process standpoint. Bio, biotech does things with natural components that they synthesize and that they will enhance so they can patent them. What yes. clean plate is, I mean, granted one, we use the, natu the, the purest source of clinoptilolite available out there, 97% pure clinoptilolite. Yeah, clinoptilolite, and we source it from a from a mine that we sole source from. No one else gets access to it. Mm. And what she does to process that makes this amazing amount of bioavailable silica, this amazing structure, and then it's how we load it to create this superstructure that yeah. has the the natural negative charge binding ability, but the cationic exchange ability of leaving the good guys, leaving the silica, grabbing onto the bad guys, supercharging the body. It's never, I I mean, you see it, you see people taking one freaking drop going. One drop. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Yeah. And it's so true. It, it, I yeah. love it because people all think, when we say to people it is a natural product, yes, that is half true and that's amazing. But it's not just that. That undoes everything that Christina's done and you've done to get to this point in time. It's magnified it's nature magnified a lot it's the genius of creation and that's what i love about it it's phenomenal unbelievable
And the bioavailable silica on for your skin and hair makes it fucking glow. So it's not just taking away, it's subtracting, it's adding great stuff. And it's got the trace minerals too. It's really phenomenal. It really is. Yeah, so it's a good time. So, <laughs> well, uh, yep. we'll end it at that because I've got to get on. Yeah, Clayton, I really appreciate everyone watching this. Thank you for your time. And um, everyone, yeah, it was just amazing, man. Thanks for getting a story a bit of the sea lights for us and the truth of the, how the others lie. So that was really key. Nice one. Awesome. Ron, we'll chat in a bit. Yeah, it's easy, guys. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Man. Bye. All Peace. Right.